Uh, Fez, how was your weekend? You went out over the weekend? Yeah, I uh, I went to watch the Notre Dame game um, with Eastside Dave at McFadden. How did that go? That was that was very nice. I actually had a good time. It was a big win over North Carolina for Notre Dame, so the game was pretty stress free. Had a, I had a pretty good time just getting out of the house. Dave, uh, I had a great time. A lot of fun. Had about eight or nine, maybe Jack and Cokes, and we had great conversation. Just the two of us. Although, I got a lot of emails from people telling me you were drunk dialing over the weekend, that they got crazy calls from you. I understand you punched a young lady in the jaw. Oh, what? No, what? Is, no, no, no. These, my arms flail sometimes. But, uh -huh. uh, With a closed fit to the young lady in the jaw. No. Now, this didn't happen while I was there. And no. apparently, you also showed up at a titty bar? Acting somewhat crazy? Well, yeah, it was on my stop to the subway. I went to Flash Dancers. And, uh, now, what were you doing at Flash Dancers? Well, there was a, a pal talk party. We were celebrating uh, for this girl, uh, Jamie. Uh, she's known as uh, Flight Benefit on pal talk. And you know, I decided, what the heck? The party was at McFadden's. Me and Fez were there at McFadden's. I'll stick so around. So, wait a minute. You invite Fez out, but yeah. it's really just an excuse to go to a pal talk get together. Oh, nice. That's uh, good to know. I mean, it was a weird coincidence, sure. But, you know, me and Fez usually like the McFadden's for the Notre Dame uh, games. And the fact that they were coming there, I decided, what the heck, I'm going to stick around even though... Now, I heard you got a pretty outrageous uh, lap dance. Yes. That was photographed. And then the guy from Flashdance confiscated the camera. Yeah, I, well, he, I, I didn't do it. I mean, I, I was... Now, this girlfriend of yours that you hide everything from, <laughs> does she know that you're getting lap danced? Oh, no, no, she didn't know about that. I was quite actually happy at the phenomenal security of flash dancers for confiscating this kid's camera. Who all, right, who all did you hang out with that night? Uh, let's see, there was Sol Solera, Alki, uh, Frenchie, Bobby Pantera, uh, Winnie Cooper, like I mentioned, the the birthday girl flight benefit that was pretty much and there was a lot of pal talk people in general the pal talk people loved the nudity and they loved the party you know yeah there was some serious drinking going on and i uh, i felt like i fit right in there i might Any get one girl on girl stuff mm, i think there was some girl on girl stuff with frenchie and someone else i couldn't exactly remember the name of the person see here's the problem uh, i'm asking you to bring back information you're the fucking one in the middle of it all you're well, in the middle of the gossip today. Well, no, I mean there was a, I, I I did witness a little coolness between Frenchie and Bobby Pantera, who said, "Oh, everything's fine. We're going to be friends after the, their breakup, and we'll be totally cool with each other." And boy, oh, it was brisk. Every time one like of them saw. <laughs> was what, this before or after you punched a woman in the face? This was before I accidentally hit a girl, who was in my way while I was trying to sing. Here's uh, Flay. Flay, you're on a fez. To card holder 11. Oh, uh, there they are. Face! And I just want to say, I was at the party on Saturday, and Dave was out of his mind drunk. Well, he was, well what he was doing is, he was bothering everybody when they were getting their lap dances. It's like people were saying that, and he'd go, Hey, how are you enjoying it, buddy? And everyone was like, Get away! <laughs> I wanted to know how they were, you know, what, how was the experience? People are paying for those things. Why are you interrupting their time? Well, I was. I like to know, you know, what the product is before I invest my own cash in it, and at, I wanted to at see. Three, at three thirty in the morning, Dave is blazing drunk, and we're like, "How are you even going to get home?" And he just goes, "I don't know. I'm just going to stumble to a bus station or something." Here's what I love too. I think Mikey D is. Got some involvement with flash dancers. He does something with the girls there. I wish he would have shown up and seen you all shit faced at his club. That would have been big time problems. Yeah, there would have been probably some sort of little scuffle. All right, Flea, who was the drunkest person there? Probably the birthday girl and probably Dave. All right, so you win the mail award. We don't know whether you win <laughs> overall, best in show, but you will do bring up drunkest mail. Well, you remember, keep in mind, uh, I was watching the game with Fed. We, we got there at whatever, 2.30 for McFed. So I had a humongous head start. And yeah, by 1 o'clock in the morning. How many drinks did you have with Fez? Eight or nine. <laughs> So you were already hammered when Fez left. I felt pretty damn good, but I was not. Did not feel hammered. I, I, like it was one of those weird times where it wasn't really hitting me. You do not. But uh, people, I got 
emails from the Pal Talkers and friends of yours told me that you were drunk dialing all night. Two, three o'clock in the morning. I did have a couple. Yeah, I have some weird phone messages or, or text messages. One from Hosp. And I, you do not know how to stay cool no. when you're fucking drinking. I just got to get rid of the phone. What? I got to say, even, I got to say, sorry for interrupting. Sorry, even though Dave was a bit drunk, it was really cool to hang out with him the whole night. And a quick shout out to Happy Typing Girl and Maul for listening right now. How you doing, buddies? Now, were they hanging out, too? Yeah. She is just pleasant as punch. Happy typing girl. I thought we had a real great bonding set. You know, not in a relationship way. I wonder if she feels differently. <laughs> sure she does, but no, just as a, as a nice person type of deal, uh, she was more than fun. She was at the strip club? She went to the strip club as well, yeah. Boy, those pal talk girls. And you broke, like, two of the cardinal rules of a strip club. You took a picture. <laughs> right. That's, I'm surprised you didn't get thrown out. They usually throw you out for that. As Don Vito. Well, that's like, <laughs> they're fucking shots of him all over the net. And, it, was, it wasn't my picture, though. And you, you're you C-blocking other people's lap dances. That's just like the biggest no-no in the world. No wonder at the, at the um, sports bar, he was escorting me out the door to make sure I was on my way home. <laughs> trying to make sure I got a ride so that big stupid Fez was out of the way and he could start going nuts. I just, I just had to get you out there as quickly as possible. I didn't want you to be bothered, you know, because there's maybe a lot of people. I wanted, you know, you're a superstar. I wanted you to get out of there, you know. Oh, so I'm retarded. <laughs> the superstar gets, gets sent home early before the fun starts. Mr. Important. Reggie Jackson would have been there till 3.30. Well, you're an important person. I thought you had, you had to get, you know, just get on your way. All right, Doug, you're on Run of Fez. Dick Holder, number Face, face. Yes. Yes. Girl on girl action going on. Say that again, Doug. Happy, happy Taping Girl took pictures uh, of uh, girl on girl action that took uh, place that night. Uh, if, it, uh, if it had tits on it, Frenchie had her uh, tongue in the mouth, I can tell you that much. And oh. all the pictures are on the fullblownage.com. It's Eastside Dave's website. All right, thank you very much. Now, did you go back and check your own site, Dave? Uh, I did a little bit, and I was, I was bothered by some of the comments that Dave is out of control. Uh, we need to get Dave help. Uh, you know, again, it's Saturday, first of all. You know, it's time right, to let the hair down. This a business thing. You're with Fez. You're with the listeners. You're not off in your own private world. When it starts to fuck up is when people at work start to hear about your behavior. And it's a reflection. Yeah, I mean, in that way, it was a throwback. Uh, it was one of those times where I was very, you know, the behavior was a little inappropriate, I guess. But I wasn't the only one, Mr. B. I mean, Frenchie was pinching the bruise the whole Frenchie night. Frenchie doesn't work for the show. She doesn't work for yeah. XM. Well, that's true. She's a customer. Yeah, sometimes I have a hard time distinguishing that, I guess. Fez, did Dave drop subtle hints that you needed to go, or it was just very... <laughs> oh, yeah, it was things like, you know, oh, this... He kept talking about what time the game would be over, because Notre Dame did start at 2.30, and he kept talking about, this game is running really long. It's been on three hours, and we're uh, not even halfway through the fourth quarter. Let me guess this. Did you grab the tab, or did he, Fez? Um, I refused to grab the tab this time. Wow, you are cheap. <laughs> Dave, you had to pay? Yeah, I paid. So uh, I guess he won't be asking you next time. Uh, Big A, Big A. Oh, my spy is there, Big A. He tells me that everything's going on. Hi, Big A. Yes, Ryan. Uh, I was also uh, at the party, and and uh, I'd like to thank uh, Mafia Life Chris. Uh, he's the person who set up... Of um, flash dances and oh, he set all. it up for everybody. Yes, yes. I want to thank him for setting it all up. Now, Big A, how was Dave that night? Uh, uh, he was out of control. Wow. Well, thanks a lot, eh? You know, Anthony, we were we were having a lot of fun together, Anthony. I don't call you by that nickname. I give you respect, and there you go. What was Not he doing, Big A? Uh, he was just being, you know, dazed. He was being a nuisance. Just being a drunk nuisance. Yeah. Wow. I, I don't really see that, Andrew. I've just called him Anthony, by the way, twice, and I, his name is Andrew, so. Still a little hungover, are you? No. Uh, let's just go with Big A, the name that everybody uses on the show. Yeah, of course. 
instead of trying to confuse the world? Okay, well, Big A, it was a pleasure hanging out with you, even though if you thought I was a little annoying, what can I do? What can I tell you, you know? I'm a chatterbox when I have a couple cocktails. I like to chat, I like to sing, do a little dance, even. All right, thanks, Big A. All right, take care, everyone. All right, bye. Nicest man in the world. You know if he's going to say somebody was out of control, they had to be way out of control. He was also very sober. Big A let Hitler be himself. That's how easygoing <laughs> he is. Uh, John, John, you're on Fez. What up, Ronnie and Fezzy? Hey, buddy. Yeah, um, see, I don't think Dave was so much out of control. Like, uh, I think he was, he was all right. He was well behaved up to the point when we started doing shots before he even got the flash dancers and then decided to throw up all over the booth. You threw um, up in the booth? No, I hiccuped, and there was a uh, lot of foam in my stomach, and yes, some of it came out onto my sweatshirt. Sweatshirt? Dude, it went on the booth, and then we had to get him, like, a little champagne, the bucket that you put champagne in, so he could fill that up with puke. You so no more shot for Dave. <laughs> That's what I always say. I don't know why people don't believe me. You, you, I have to do a shot here, a shot there. It's not good. Yeah, but when you're in a booth, puking yeah. into a fucking bucket, Dave... That's not, I'm out having a good time. If you're 18, you can get away with it. If you're 29, you're a degenerate drunk. I understand that, Mr. B. I thought it was a hiccup. I mean, I, how am I supposed to predict if something's a hiccup or, or a small piece of vomit? All right, I, may, yeah. I tried to make a judgment. I thought it was a hiccup I could let loose and said it came out. Dave. I got no problem with you being an alcoholic fucking imbecile who can't do his job. But you cannot be doing it with the listeners. I agree. Even I'm... the pal talk fucking maniacs. <laughs> well, I guess they're just, you know, you're a hundred and they're like a ninety-five. These fuckers are looking down on you. Yeah, that's that's not a the good. The pal thing. talkers who spend half the night with their fucking asses out are going. This Dave is out of control. Something's wrong with him. And when I was leaving McFadden's, he was he had his coat on. He followed me outside and was giving me the illusion that he was on his way home, trying to figure out where the nearest subway station was. Your grandma right now, Fez. <laughs> you have no idea what your grandson is like. Uh, all right, here's Mafia Life, uh, Chris. How you doing, Chris? Hey, what's going on, guys? Yeah. Hey, Dave, who bought you the lap dance? I think, uh, was that you, Chris? I don't recall. That yes, was... Uh, okay. Yes, sir. I bought you the lap dance. And, and what was that puppy's <laughs> name? <laughs> Get him a cocker spaniel and shove it down his pants. The only thing that turns him on. I thought I saw some titty sucking action, and I was thinking blackmail and some cash maybe in the long run, you know? All right, so like, wait a trouble. minute, Dave. Does your girlfriend know that you're licking on tits? <laughs> uh, no. You I... live a lie. <laughs> you live a fucking lie. My mouth was close. There was no actual right, tits let's, sucking. Let's call Claire right now and tell her that you were getting a lap dance and see if you ain't going to be fucking sitting at home alone tonight. Oh, we can't do that. I, yeah, that I was... think I got the photo, Ron. Send it away, Ron and Fez at AOL. I want to get every photo, Ron and Fez at AOL. Nice. I hope that's well, not necessary. How long do I have to be affiliated with the show to be called Mafia Life Chris? Six years, seven years? Yeah. <laughs> Love you guys. All right, see you later. I miss Take your care, old name, dude. Nemo Cakes. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. All right, here's our good friend, Solera. Slara, how are you, darling? Hey, guys, how are you? Good, honey. I'm calling to apologize. Um, I was responsible for Dave staying there, mm -hmm. but I did not go to the strip club because I'm a responsible adult and I was too drunk. Right. And I, I went home. Plus, you're still looking for your sister's purse. Yeah, well, we're on that, that <laughs> mad search for it. Apparently, we have to go to the boogie down to find it. <laughs> All right, so you told him it was okay for him to go to the titty bar? No, I had no idea, and I, I would not take part in that. And I was actually upset with people who left the, the wandering maniac in the streets because Dave cannot be let out alone. Dave. No, he really is. He's um, To be responsible for him and put him in, in transit of some sort to get to his home at the end of the night. Yeah. Because any time, you know, usually uh, when we saw him partying, West Side, his girlfriend was always there. The That's thing. true. When we used to know him before he started with the show, he was never on solo. 
Well, we had we had a good uh, we had a nice little deal. I drive up to the bar, she drives home. We split the responsibilities fifty then, fifty. You're puking in buckets. <laughs> you're rubbing your big fat fucking red head all in the, in women's tits. Oh, you're out of control. And uh, he owes me an apology because he kept dedicating songs to me, the words of which he forgot, and the only one he remembered was "Hit the Road, Jack." You are singing it again, Dave? I have that's that's an Irish gene that we. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back yeah. no more, no more. I, this pe- one's for you, Solera. Well, this pl- one's for you. It's never his fault. It's the oh. uh, the history of Ireland's fault or someone else's. Yeah, I anyone who bought him a shot, they're the blame. He's this genes. Who Had doesn't like a nice song? Who doesn't like to to be whistle Dixie to from time All right, to here's time. the thing. You lost your Fez Watley privileges. A, you're running up tabs that he won't even pay them. Fez, I want you to go out with Mikey Boy and Pantera now to the games. And Dave, you're banned. I'm banned from... Because I, I'm walking Fez through a difficult time in his life. I don't need him abandoned by you on a Saturday night. You know, here's the thing. I, I'm having trouble because a lot of things are reminding me of what happened last year. Mm-hmm. This is heart attack week. And a year ago, I was at that same bar in pain having the heart attack as part of that week. I'm trying to forget about it. I'm focusing on a good game. A play comes up. This nut screams out. Every, I, I, he must have done it three or four times. Oh, that scared the hell out of me. I thought I was having a heart attack. I forgot who I was sitting next to. And look, that's just a that's an American cliche. As as famous as apple pie, people you're in say charge that. of Fez. You right. know what he's been going through. Yeah, we're taking care of him like he's an AIDS baby this whole week. I was trying to be calm. I thought I was pretty calm with Fez, to be honest. It's just the the party maybe spiraling. You shit. ran up a, a fucking tab on him. You had nine or ten Jack and Cokes while he's sitting there. Yeah, but I had all intention of paying that because I did. I purposely didn't bring any cash to the bar, smart, so that I could have my debit card, my Chase debit card, and this way I was going to get the bill. No matter what, I had no <laughs> idea you were a debit card holder. Like you did last time. Well, I wasn't going to skip out on Mr. W, the captain. No way. All right, Solara. See you guys later. Uh, bye-bye. Bye. No, I was just escorted to the door. Get out. I got more fun to have. I'm telling you, I'm thinking about showing up at these pal talk parties. Women on women, drinking all hours of the night. Oh, it was a heck of a lot of fun. Yeah. Sure. I got to get involved with the pal talk. Dave, did you pass out at the strip club? No. See? There you go. And that was just me being attentive. He was too busy throwing up in his own mouth. Oh. He fucking passes out. He's Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> that was an extended burp again. That hit Dan, Dan, you're on running Fez. Hey, Ron, uh, I'm sorry, but this is all your fault for uh, hiring a hot dog vendor as a a radio producer. You know what? I'm going to probably have to agree with you right now. And I'll send you into the big-ass prize closet for giving out the fact that I am to blame for all this. I let a guy, I took a guy away from his dirty water dogs and brought him into a production studio. Yeah. I was wrong. He saved my life, Mr. B. It's uh, it's been a wonderful you ride. Fez his. You know? Well, the worst thing if he got that drunk at his old job is people on the streets start getting free dogs. Kelly, you're on Rana Fez. Hi, guys. I had the wonderful wonderful opportunity to meet uh, Dave on Saturday night at the bar, and he was hammered. He just kept telling me how much he loved me, and it was the first time I met him, and I... giving me hugs and kisses on the head. You're a pal talker. I am a pal talker, yes. All right, what's your name on there? I'm one buff girl. They, people know me as Buffy, and uh, most of the people from that night know me as the blonde with the uh, low-cut pink shirt on. <laughs> uh, what girl were you making out with that night? Um, I was getting attacked by um, Frenchie. Frenchie was attacking me. Every time I walked by, she was ripping my shirt off and trying to suck my nipples, and uh, especially the pierced one. And um, one of the other chicks was, too, but... I didn't end up making out with any of the girls, but they, I was getting molested as I walked by each That's time. That's some gang. That is some it's gang. The PTs. Good times. All right. Bye-bye, honey. Okay. Where do I tell fucking uh, your girlfriend? I don't think that That you're necessary. going around telling strangers you love them. I wish you wouldn't. I don't see why that's pertinent at all. You know, uh, we, we have a... When I say I love you, it's 
Jesus said that to people. It's pretty much the same thing. I love mostly everyone. Good. You explain that to your girlfriend when after I tell him that you're like Jesus. You love everybody. <laughs> Turning water into shots. Only Jesus didn't throw up in his own mouth. That's the big difference. He could have. I mean, there's no witnesses around that time. So you're saying that Jesus got so drunk that he threw up in his own mouth and then they had to hand him a champagne bucket. Yeah, they probably didn't have to hand him anything. He could probably clean it up by waving his magic fingers over it. Find me the verse that says Jesus puked. First of all, he didn't have magic fingers. You're acting like he's Lance Burton. You're acting like Jesus was doing nine shows a week in Vegas. Hey, he was magical. These are miracles, not tricks. I'm a, yeah, I know. I did, I'm not saying they were illusions, but he was a magic guy. All right, let's talk to somebody who's sensible. Turtle. You're on the Ron and Fez hey, show. Son of a bitch. Hey, buddies. Hey, Don't pal. Don't be a dick holder. Yeah. I am, I am stunned, and I didn't think it was possible, but it sounds like Howdy Doody there is even more annoying after work. See ya! You fucker, you son of a... Okay, always, always with the hang-up, huh? Turtle. Hit and run. Papa Joe. What do you mean by right. Papa Joe? Whatever. There's no, <laughs> no means for it. Seriously. I want to know what your insult I, Papa Joe meant. Papa Joe, like he's a dirty guy. Like, just like sloppy Joes and Papas just fucking do that something. That doesn't make like, sense. It makes plenty of sense to me. You just called him Hemingway. Dirty pool, turtle. Always hanging up. Dirty. At, at FBA and at Pal Talk, we play fair. No Papa Joes over there? You fucking idiot. There's nothing but clean rules and good behavior over there. And some fun and wild times. You're Papa Zo. Uh, Bruce, you're on a Fez. Yeah, I just want to know what happened to Dave shirking on his responsibilities. He's supposed to take Fez to the park, throw a little frisbee after the ball game. That is true. Everybody this weekend was supposed to take care of Fez. I had him on Saturday. I took him to the New York Marathon, got him some food, brought him back to my house. We watched a ball game. I had left the uh, Frisbee at home, so I thought, rather than do that, I'll walk Fez out, we'll talk, we'll chat outside, get some fresh air, and then, you know, I'll direct him to a cab or subway or something. I was basically booted to the curb. I had no idea he had a whole night of party in ahead of him that I was, you know, a big anchor, on. You were his way in. He's probably telling funny Fez jokes all night. Oh, I had to take care of Grandma today. Did you did you at least invite him? It's like, hey, we're going to be hanging out a little bit later. Do you want to hang out with us? He's an important. Nice. He's an elite guy. He doesn't. I, I thought he doesn't need that. Okay. Just just the opposite, Earl. He was telling me he was going home. He wasn't going to hang around in the city any longer. That was my original plan, but uh, you know, Solera and and Alfie right. talked me into it a little yes, bit. Yes, and a good nine ten hours go by, <laughs> and then apparently you call everybody on the phone that night except for Fez. Yeah, I didn't get a call. I thought you'd be sleeping. It's nap time. <laughs> What's that bastard remark supposed to mean? It means that you're a sick old lady, and he and you would not enjoy the fun. But you could have picked up the phone and like, hey, I know you're on your way home, but, hey, uh, the guys, they invited me out. Would you like to join us? I know you're on your way home, but if you want to come back, here's where we're going to be. I was thinking for him, and I didn't want to... Why, because he's too stupid? No, he's highly intelligent. But I thought, you know, it's it's good for me to make a decision for Fez. Because I'm Rosie O'Donnell in that retard on the bus movie. Well, I didn't want you to feel pressured into staying because you knew that your pal, you know, me, uh, y your buddy Dave was going to stay. I didn't want you to say, oh, if Dave stays, I have to stay. So Marty, I you're on run of Fez. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Good. Um, I think it's about time to tell Westside about Dave, man. This has been going way too long, man. You know what? Now, after the big ice cream party... And, by the way, you made Fez feel terrible about that ice cream party. The, um, I feel now that Westside and I are friends. Now, if you had a friend, Fezzy, who her, her uh, boyfriend was running around telling women drunkenly that he loves them, he's sucking on titties, he's puking in buckets in front of her, basically Danny Bonaducci. She is living with Danny Bonaducci, but unlike Danny Bonaducci's killjoy wife, West Side is oblivious. Well, yeah, but I and you are friends with her, especially and after then ice cream. You told her that Fez called her dog face, which I never did. Are you sure? I'm sure. Because I know at that I was at that fucking restaurant. Everything stops on a dime. I have to look up from my ice cream to see four women just staring icily at Fez. I had made a joke at her expense, but I never said anything about her physical makeup. Never called her dog face. 
And say anything about her looks. Nothing about her looks, I swear to you. That's not what I remember. What I, I happened just, when you told her that? Uh, she was very upset, very, very upset. And then I said, he also made fun of your educational level, saying you're only as smart as a fourth grader. Why are you explaining it to her? She was sitting right there. She knows I didn't call her dog face. Yeah, but she was confused, and I can usually... Why were all the her. girls mad at you, Fez? Uh, because I had spoke, you know, I had made one girl feel uncomfortable. So, of course, the gang mentality. That is true. You're right. You know what? If a guy sees another guy in trouble, he laughs. But if a girl sees another uh, girl in trouble, it's like a fucking pack of wolves. They all come in together and start to fight the rhino. You really have to have balls to do ball busting. Good point. That you need to learn from that. You can't talk to them the way we talk to each other. Yeah, there's no they sort of va any sort of vag busting. Oh, I hope not. It was pretty cool because now she feels like a bond with those girls. So in in a way, like Fez re re I'll rekindled the friendship between Ron and and Westside. By the way, those girls will tell her in a heartbeat now, because all those girls listen to this show. And they they'll tell her what about things that I say on the air? Yes. Well, then she's not allowed to ever hang out with Christine Tracy or Mrs. B ever, 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 ever. There's going to be another ice cream party eventually, I would hope. Uh, here's uh, Jamie, your Armando Fez. Hey, guys, how you doing? Yeah. You're giving him quite a hard time. He wasn't that badly behaved. I don't know about it. Now, you were there, Jamie? It was my party. Oh, this is your party. Flight benefit. Yeah, and, and, and Fezzi, I asked you to stay right before you left, and you said, no, no, I have to go, and you and Dave walked out. And about 15 minutes later, Dave was back, and... um. Yeah, he hung out until the very end. Jamie, I had but, no uh, idea that was you. That you were that person. <laughs> yeah, that was me. And she but and, and, and it was a time. wonderful time, Jamie. We we oh boy. No, she Thank was you. the one that was just as drunk as Dave. Does that, the report? That's the alleged. No, I was uh, not that drunk. Definitely not that drunk. Jamie, were you getting lap dances? Absolutely. Yeah. We actually pal talk party. Kicked, we got kicked out of the strip club at one point because one of the other pal talk girls was giving me a lap dance. What what other girl? Beach Bunny. Beach Bunny. Wow. So you guys need to start coming to these pal talk parties. I, I got to start coming. Yes, absolutely. I got to become friends with the pal talkers. You need to become friends with Flight Benefit. I'm even thinking of getting like a camera and a microchip or however they set up those <laughs> pal talks. I'm you thinking. Now you do sound like a grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get hooked up to the internet, to the pal talk world. That's, yeah, because yeah, you're so responsible. You can handle things and not get in trouble. Well, you might see uh, some fire crotch shots, but why not? It's 2 right. o'clock in the morning. Stop it. No. Uh, Jamie, thanks so much. All right, thanks, guys. All right, invite us to the next big party. I tell you what, these parties, forget about it. I mean, this was the way Ron Fez, you know, dot net party, when, when they hosted it. That's Back the, the way they days? Yeah, the old days. Just. Before it turned into wine and cheese parties? Exactly. <laughs> it was just nuts, man. That is actually the way we met Dave, was under these circumstances. So we can't act overly surprised, but we thought he matured a little bit. He was a maniac then, but then we always get promises now. Oh, don't worry about me. I won't be drinking. Next thing you know, it's shots and Jackson, Jack and Coke and vomit on his shirt. But when women are being thrown out of a titty bar, you can't be more... I mean, first of all, their whole point is to keep women in there. When they're chucking women out, these pal talk girls must be off the hook. Absolutely. And it was Saturday night special. That's what I call it. I mean, what, you know, I have to. You don't call it. Yeah, but you don't do any of this stuff in front of your girlfriend. So don't act like you got to be you because we see you living a lie. I mean, I, we, I do drink uh, sometimes in front of her. I probably don't, yeah, do the drunk dialing, and I definitely don't do strip clubs. Yeah. You don't fine. go picking up other chicks in front of her? <laughs> no, you're right about that. All right. Because you're not allowed to do any of those things, Dave. Have the two of you ever gone to a strip club together? Yes, once. It was really the most uncomfortable moment in my life, so I can't even tell her about strip clubs now. Hey, baby doll. Hello. Um, I'd like to say Dave was very well behaved, but Frenchie wasn't. Yeah. When Frenchie was the one raping all the girls, and she burnt me with her cigarette and put a hole through my shirt. I had to walk through rounds with a hole in my shirt the whole day. All right, so you're one of the Pal Talk girls? Yes. 
So you thought Dave, not so bad, Frenchie was off the hook. Dave was just sitting at the bar the whole time behaving himself very well. It really is true that if Frenchie was a guy, she'd be arrested as a rapist. And yeah. that is an absolute tru <laughs> truism. No guy would get away with what she does. No, not at all. I, I nearly had my cowbell bruise was almost totally healed. And she just, she was, she grabs things so hard. It's like a lobster and she twists. And I, I just like, stop crying. You're a fucking guy. It's third Please. degrees. Assault, assault. Now, baby doll. Oh, she's gone. Did you remember her, Dave? Yeah. Is she the only baby doll on uh, Pal Talk or is there others? No, I think she's the baby doll. Okay. Yeah, it's great. The you know the baby doll, one buff girl, flight uh, benefit, all these names. I just they're really good chicks. Happy typing girl, exactly. You know, all just, wild, all wild, all fun. Hmm. And I learned m many, if not all of them, are on FBA too. So once again, we just see this is the place to be. What about your girlfriend? You want her a part of all this action? She's a fun girl. I don't want her on Pal Talk, no. Unhappy dating Dave girl. Uh, Darren, you're on Run Fez. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Uh, Fezzy, I got to let you know that a couple months ago on the air, you actually said that Dave's girlfriend had a dog face. Maybe that's why he's held on to it for all this time, Fez. Oh, maybe that's what it was. But I uh, trust me, I never said that to her actual face. You said oh, it off yeah. the air then? I mean, you said it when she wasn't around? Why would you say such a thing? I must have made the joke when he was uh, revealing that he had been with a husky, with a dog. That is no, what you said. it was pre dog. It was uh, definitely pre dog. I can't imagine where that would even out. come up. I, I'm going to say wait for next week. I'm going to give Fez a week to defend himself with this. This is not his week where we get to accuse him of stuff. I find it hard to believe. But, you know, if we have to go back for tape. I never thought he was going to be a joke thief until today. But someday in the future, I will bust it on him. This is your week, Fuzzy. Thank you. I appreciate that. This is your week week. And that uh, pants joke, by the way, I believe is public domain. Paul, you're on Run of Fez. Uh, it's Maul, not Paul with an M. And uh, Dick Cardholder 909. Ah, face. I just wanted to defend Happy Typing Girl. She's a bit upset. She was not out of control. She's the nice, quiet one. She's the mother hen of Pal Talk, as they say. Oh, is that yeah. right? I totally agree with that, too. She's definitely, like, a leader. And, yeah, I never thought she was out of control. Who said she was out of control? Dave just did. Dave, Dave, oh, Dave. I, said she, I said it was a wild party, but I, I'm not going to... Happy Typing Girl was, was, was pleasant. It was phenomenal. She's not very, here. very low-key. She's, she's really upset on Pal Talk, she, so I just wanted to defend her. She was nice and totally in control. If there was anyone out of control, it was probably me and the birthday girl flight benefit. Okay, I gotta give a quick, sh I gotta go, I gotta give a quick shout out to my boy Jason, who's calling me right now, and his girlfriend Andrea. Bye. Well, just say hey to him when you, when you answer your phone. Uh, shout out is a public thing, Fez. It's like when you're talking to your dogs. My dogs? Mm-hmm. I don't have any pets. It's D-A-W-G-S, dogs. Well, that's misspelled. Well, Dave, now I'm glad that you got other people mad at you. I don't... I, I hope you're banned from Pal Talk. Can you imagine? No. What a drunk you'd have to be not to be invited to their parties? Please don't ban me. I'm looking forward to the next one. Happy Typing Girl was very much in control. What are you going to be the next one? They, may, they should have it like on a Thursday or something so they can guarantee you won't drink so much. Why? Well, so I'm drinking Thursday this week. Uh, yeah, last Tuesday for the Halloween party. But that's a party. That's a holy you're mackerel. drinking every day. <laughs> no, you're I'm telling not. us you're not. But you could not come in here as ill-prepared as you are on a daily basis. No, I was, uh, yes, I was drinking on Tuesday. Marianne, you're on Renefez. Hey, guys. I just have to say, I, I kind of want to put up for a Fez here a little bit because uh, Dave's girlfriend got so insulted that he insulted her education, and yet I have to go out on a limb here and say 
you know, I don't know the girl at all, but, you know, if she's dating this guy. You're telling me she can't figure out any of this stuff that this guy's doing? Well, don't you think that there's book smart and there's street smart? So maybe she's book smart, but she's got to be an idiot to say Dave is my boyfriend and to I'm go out sorry, at I night. Go with and you, it ain't for the way you look, Dave. Or it's the way you act and the fact that you constantly lie to her, that you're living a double life. Well, the lies, yes, my little acting performances, but she is very intelligent. She has a master's and for crying out loud. I believe anything. that. But she has to be stupid to believe you. She doesn't have a lot of street smarts. I'll, I'll be the yeah. first to admit that. And she, for some reason, this came up not too long ago, um, that you said that when she found one of your porns or he showed up on TV, she screamed. Yeah, she <laughs> she yelled. <laughs> And I said, I, <laughs> and I said I have to watch these for the show. I said I was doing research, and she believed it. And now, now I bury all my porns in the bottom of my hamper, including the midget porn. And God oh. knows she doesn't do the wash, so you're, you're <laughs> fucking safe. She's not going through uh, those shorts. We smell those rusty fucking clothes you come wearing in here every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dave, go, go ahead, Dave, and lift up your arms right now for okay. everyone to see. I don't. I think Gi I'm fine. Giant hole in the armpit again on this shirt. It's a shirt that I don't even know if I've seen before, and yet there's a giant hole in the armpit. I can't help it if Astoria laundromat destroys my clothes every time I bring it there. <laughs> that must be it's where the porn be a ripped of it. Time before she finds out about you and your uh, toast. No, you know what? The other day I did actually mention to her about the jelly. Uh, I still haven't told her the dog story yet, though. You told her you fucked a jar of jelly? I did. What'd she say to that? She was not pleased. <laughs> well, and what was she turned on? I gauged her personality and said, well, now if I tell her the dog, it's probably over. So I'll, I'll maybe do... Do you honestly think she would break up with you if she knew how you really were? Yeah. I mean, if I yes. unloaded all of this on her at once, that's why I'm just going to break her one story every you five or six months. No, no, I don't really. I'll do it to her on the air. Ah. Very easily. Oh, we'd love to do that. Hey, Ron? Yeah. I just want to put this one thing forward from an earlier show. I don't even know if Dave remembers it, but you can check the tapes. He also said that he doesn't really care if she gets hers. He just, as long as he's, you know, uh, gotten his... Are you talking about there. sexual climax stuff? Exactly. I don't think I said... Well, if I did, fine. Who? I, what the fucking 87% of guys are like that. I'm sure no, you said it. This is the girl you're going to marry, though. you got to treat her with a little respect. I give her a fucking uh, solid 12 minutes every single time. I mean, that's pretty damn solid good. 12 minutes of what? Sex. Yeah, but what about the rest of your life? I uh, take out the trash. She never takes out the trash. She doesn't like touching it. I always take out the trash. I do the dishes. Sure, she cooks every day. And she has to lug my laundry to the laundromat. That She's not pleased about that. But besides that, I, I contribute. I make her laugh. I make her smile. So you load the dishwasher, and, and that way you get to fuck dogs. That's the fair trade-off there. See, now, was that another dog face comment? Because... It does seem that way. That, I mean, that was... But you know what? Let's lay off them. This is week week. All right. How close are you to crying today, Fez? Oh, I'm sure I'm right about there. This is... Right now, you're about to break your two-show streak. So I want to. I want today to be the day you break. I'd like to have it up like those industrial accident signs in a factory. How many days without? We'll be right back, Ron and Fez show. You're listening to Ron and Fez on XM202. Well, it's about time. Too precious. Oh, fuck up. Yeah, it is the Ron and Fez Show. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. I just want to apologize. Get it all well, in well, paper. First of all, the, your time is over. Oh, okay. The fact that you could have... If we let you apologize for every moment you need to apologize, <laughs> we'd have nothing else in the show. Well, that's true. But just this one time, if you can make no. an exception. No. 
I really don't want to make an exception. Fez, are you in, a, in, a, in the mood for an exception? Do you want to hear yet another one of his apologies? No, I don't think I would ever be in a mood for an exception. Well, can I just say I'm sorry then? That's the same than... as an apology. Well, it's the same exact thing, Red. It's at least it's less formal than <laughs> saying I apologize. And if I could, I'd just like to say I'm sorry to Happy Typing Girl because she was very much in control. And what do you do? You drug her down into your level? <laughs> no, well, I don't want anyone to get confused. <laughs> she was great. She was I'm the leader. I'm glad she's uh, bad mouthing you on Pal Talk right now as we speak. <laughs> Please, I'm don't. excited about that. She right now, uh, she's my second favorite person, uh, right behind Turtle, who hates you. <laughs> so right now, how I feel like, oh, I have a lot of common with that person, is if they can't stand you. No, she was steady as a rock. I don't know if anyone got uh, misinterpreted what I said. She was very cool, very, very... Forget your apologies, because everyone knows the state of mind you were in. You were puking on yourself. Who, who's going to count on your recollection of anything? Who was good, who was bad? Uh, but I still need to say it on the public record, because uh, everything we say is... Did you want to apologize to Bobby Pantera? Yes, I'll, I'll apologize to Bobby P. For, for what? For just saying the things about maybe Frenchie and how I thought they were very cold towards one another and they promised uh, to stay friends after their their little breakup and maybe I shouldn't have spilled that. It's none of your business, right? Probably not. Matter of fact, we wouldn't have heard anything about this party if you didn't bring it up. You well, brought it up and then people started to dime on you. I like so, to inform. I like to move away. From, you like to inform everybody but your girlfriend. <laughs> and again, now we go back to the same topic and I don't want to do it. Alrighty. All right, so you just sit there quietly and shuffle your papers. You know, you were supposed to be the gossip columnist for all the internet stuff, and yet you can't seem to stop from being the person that's gossiped about. Uh, I don't know. That's what you asked us if you could be. And how long ago did this happen? A month? Uh, yeah, at least a month. You told us that you had an opening. Do you have it now? You've yeah. had it for a month. I still haven't listened yet. Uh huh. Could we listen, Earl? All right, let's hear it. Razzle Dazzle, it's Board Gossip with Eastside Dave. A little gossip, a little chat, a little idle talk. Where's that fucking music from? <laughs> it's called, uh, It's uh, the name of the song is called Gossip. From where? Uh, it's from some musical that I found, like some musical in the 40s. <laughs> it's and awful. I think it's wonderful. I think uh, it's just... Let me hear it again from the beginning. Sorry about that. Uh, God, it really sucks. <laughs> Razzle Dazzle. It's bored gossip with Eastside Dave. Uh, I'm already bored. Gossip, <laughs> All right, let me hear one thing like you would do if we were, if we ever allowed you. By the way, I just pointed out to everybody, he's had this for a month, and this was the first time I'd even allow myself to hear it. Well, right. with those production values, I can understand why it took a month's time. Hey, everybody. Missy, angry Missy from RonFez.net. Well, her company has two IT positions open. Huh? If you want a job, go contact angry Missy right now. Remember, right, this, this isn't gossip. This is a PSA. <laughs> this, there's some gossip in here. This is morning announcements at the school. Okay. Well, that's one thing. Hey, everyone. If you want to be a dick holder, sign up. All right, to see, this, this is isn't... not gossip. Again, this is PSAs. We should be hearing about board feuds, who's who hates who, who's sneaking around with who. But the only thing is, that would be Dave. He is the center of all this. That's true. I'm trying to find non-Dave material. I so you what? couldn't pull it off? Uh... Well, I'm going to keep uh, working on the threads themselves. I do have uh, so a mailbox, though, that I'd like to possibly do. A trip into Dave's mailbox? No. No? Because the fucking piece was called something else. Yeah. So it wasn't called Dave's mailbox. There is no Dave's mailbox bit. I have an opener for it, though. You couldn't make this one work.